When my generation thinks of major historical events that impacted the world, many of us wonder what it would have been like to live through all of the excitement. Just when we begin to think that everything has already been thought of, done and invented, something or someone comes along and once again, the world is forever changed. What if you had an opportunity to be part of a modern day miracle that could impact the world like never before? Would you jump right in with no questions asked or would you think, I'm only one person, what difference can I possibly make? Someone once said, never worry about numbers, help one person at a time and always start with a person nearest you. Hi, I'm Sarai Salinas. I live in Laredo, Texas, United States, which borders Nuevo Laredo, Tamaulipas, Mexico. All across the world, sister cities like ours celebrate their similarities, yet each day we are constantly bombarded with stories of conflict and division, which cause stories about peace, love, and hope to not reach us as easily. There are so many caring individuals and groups all around the world working hard to make a difference, and they are making a difference, but we don't hear nearly enough about this very important work of theirs. I know there are more of you out there, like me, who would love to hear, read, and see more stories that are making a difference and the people who are making it happen. I know as stories of caring would begin to surface, more caring would continue to spread. Having that happen, I thought, would be a miracle, but my thought process didn't stop there. I began to think of how that could actually be carried out and who could make that happen. What one person is loved by so many that could cause the masses to stop and care so much that stories of love would at least for one day outweigh any others? It's difficult enough to get people to come together, but to get people to come together and agree, only a saint could accomplish that, I thought. And just like that, it all began to rush in. Mother Teresa. She's not yet a saint, but everyone agrees she should already be one. Everyone loved, loves, and will always love Mother Teresa. There is absolutely no debating that statement. Mother Teresa once said, By blood, I am Albanian. By citizenship, an Indian. By faith, I am a Catholic nun. As to my calling, I belong to the world. As to my heart, I belong entirely to the heart of Jesus. Mother Teresa had the support and acceptance of people around the world from different social and economic backgrounds, as well as different religions and nationalities, because she spoke love, lived love, and was love. Mother Teresa brought the world together like no one else could, and I am certain she can do it again. But the questions that quickly came up were how and when, and so began months of prayer, meditation, and reflection. Have you ever had something within you tug at you so hard that it quickly became bigger than you, and you knew you just had to go with it and let it lead you? During those months, things came to me in bits and pieces until I finally began to see the big picture. As I researched the life of Mother Teresa, I came across countless examples of why so many of us can relate to her and draw strength from her life experiences. In 1946, while traveling to the Laredo Convent for an annual retreat, Mother Teresa is said to have experienced the call within the call. She was later quoted as saying, I was to leave the convent and help the poor while living among them. It was an order. To fail would have been to break the faith. Mother Teresa was born on August 26, 1910, but she was baptized on August 27th and considered this day to be her true birthday. August 26th and 27th are just days away. If you could ask Mother Teresa what she wanted for her birthday, what do you think the answer would be? And remember, this is a person who won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 and refused a conventional ceremonial banquet celebration so that the $192,000 in prize funds could instead be given to the needy in India. On August 26, whatever you wish to give of yourself in honor of Mother Teresa, do so with love. Remember, this is a group effort. No matter how small your contribution is, when combined with everyone else's, it will add up big. Mother Teresa said it best when she said, not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. So on August 26, it's Love Like Mother Teresa Day. We have one week to share this video and reach as many around the world as we can. Our goal is to love so much that on August 27th, we wake up to reports of love from around the world in the hopes that together we loved big enough to create the one last miracle needed to make Mother Teresa a saint, as well as to experience for ourselves what she always wanted for us all that the success of love is in the loving.